So this morning I had a OB appointment and then right after I went to Target because I had to like pick up stuff for the month. I'm going to show you guys what I got from Target really quickly and then we'll go ahead and talk about Everly and how that appointment went. So I got some wipes and of course diapers because I was pretty much out of both so I needed to stock up on those. And then I went ahead and grabbed some more Palmer's Cocoa Butter Lotion. I get questions all the time on what I use for stretch marks and I always use the brand Palmer's. This is just a regular cocoa butter lotion, but I also do have the other one put away that's specifically used for stretch marks. I've used that every single pregnancy. I've been pretty lucky to where I haven't really gotten any stretch marks. With Layla, I did get really tiny ones on my butt and my boobs, but they aren't like super dark or anything. They're really, really tiny and they're like white, almost kind of like non-existent. But just in case, I always make sure my belly and just everything is, you know, moisturized and everything. And the brand Palmer's is what I've always used for every single one of my pregnancies. So. And then I have some Tums. These are the Chewy Bites assorted berries. I've been extremely nauseous for the past like maybe for the past like five days. It's been so bad to the point where it keeps me up at night because I'm trying not to vomit while I'm trying to go to sleep. So stock back up on Tums because I've been going through these like crazy. And then I grabbed some baby food pouches for Aurora. I like to just throw these in my bag whenever I know we have like a long day and we're going to be out and about. So these are really nice just to have on hand. So I got pear and pea. And then this one is banana, plum, and oats. I got Aurora another toothpaste. It comes with a toothbrush. It's just the brand Tom's. I also picked up Aurora this jammy set. It says time for a cat nap and it's a set of two. So this one comes with the matching pants and then this one has cats all over it and this one comes with shorts. And this was actually in the clearance section so I got this for $7. I ended up hitting the clearance section for myself. So these t-shirts aren't for me right now, they're for after pregnancy because these would not fit my giant belly right now but they were on sale and i thought they were cute so i just grabbed them so the first one has bo peep jesse and mrs potato head and it says girls supporting girls and i thought it was super cute because you guys know we are planning on buying disney passes so there's going to be lots of disney trips in our future so i bought this for whenever we do go this was on sale for ten dollars and then this one is another gray shirt. This one is on sale for six. And this one's more of like a cropped fit. And then it says feel the feels. And then it has like the little Instagram heart notification. So I thought that was super cute. You guys know I'm a sucker for my graphic tees. So when I saw those, I thought I'd snag them up for my sister and for Layla. I got these. I don't even know what they are. It says they're... Minnie Mouse 
fizzy necklace activity so it's like a bath bomb and then inside the bath bomb there's like a charm not really sure what they are but i figured they'd like them because they were literally on sale for a dollar 48 so next things i got are actually all for layla i don't think i've even mentioned this on my channel yet i think i've mentioned it on instagram briefly but layla actually starts school really soon she starts kindergarten this month i think she starts like august 26th or something like that so she starts kind of towards the end of the month you guys know we have a lot going on everly's due date is the 31st i'm 36 weeks pregnant with her you guys know we're in the process of escrow for our new house so there's just so much going on i'm staying at my mom's house right now and school is about to start this month since there's just so much going on and we don't really have any stability right now Layla is going to be in homeschool. It's called I Lead. And basically, she has like a teacher and everything still. She is going to be homeschooled just for kindergarten, just because, like I said, there's just so much going on. You know, everything with Everly, and we're not even in our own house right now. So, we figured doing homeschool for her right now is the best, at least for kindergarten, if she ends up liking it. We end up liking it, then I'll probably just keep her homeschool. But for the plan, right now since everything is literally up in the air for us homeschool is the way we are going for layla for kindergarten so she starts really soon so with that being said i picked up some school supplies for her not really sure everything that i'm going to need since this is you know my first time putting her through homeschool well putting any of my kids through homeschool this is like layla's about to start kindergarten which is so crazy. I just kind of picked up like the basics. So I picked up three folders. They were literally like 50 cents. So I just grabbed those. And then I grabbed one of these pocket, seven pocket organizer file thingies, just so that way I can, you know, be organized. I grabbed her a pencil box and glue sticks. I got her this ruler. I thought this ruler was so cool and I know she's gonna love it because I don't know if you guys remember like those nap bracelets that everybody used to have. That's pretty much what this ruler is. So I thought it was really cool. Cause, um, markers. I got her the thin ones and then the thicker ones. Erasers. And then I got some pens because like I said, she's going to be homeschooled. So I'm gonna be the one, you know, grading her work and everything. So I picked up those. And then that is everything that I grabbed from Target. Really quickly, I'm going to give you guys a 36-week pregnancy update. So I'm still feeling really good other than, like I told you guys, I've been extremely nauseous like the past couple of days. It's been terrible. It's been to the point where I just, I'm getting to the point where I don't even want to eat anymore. I know that sounds bad. Obviously, I'm still eating because, you know, my health and Everly's health. But it's just, whenever it comes time to eat, I just, I kind of dread it. Like I'm so hungry all the time, but I just know I'm going to get heartburn or I'm going to get acid reflex. It's going to make me nauseous. So at this point, at 36 weeks, I kind of have to avoid like greasy food and anything that has like any spicy foods. And then, like I said, I did have an OB appointment this morning. It went great. I still don't have any swelling. I gave a urine sample that came back great. Everly really looks great. She's kicking around as always. Her heartbeat is super strong. I do have to actually give blood work. They gave me the option of doing all of the blood work that I need done today, but I opted out for it because she said, the nurse said that I need to give like a ton of blood work just because they want to make sure, you know, everything is going okay. She told me um, I should probably eat like a really good like meal and drink a ton of water before having that done. I didn't eat the greatest meal this morning just because, you know, I was extremely nauseous all night and I didn't want to make myself nauseous again with breakfast. So I didn't eat the biggest breakfast this morning before going into my OB appointment. So I decided to opt out for the, getting the blood drawn today just because I didn't want to get dizzy or pass out or anything. So I'm probably going to have to get that blood work done like within the next couple of days. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this pregnancy update. As you guys can imagine, my emotions are kind of all over the place right now because Baby Watch has officially begun. I'm announcing it. This is the start of Baby Watch because we have about four weeks 
or less. So the countdown for Everly has officially begun. So I'm going to try to keep you guys updated as much as I can. I'm sure you guys can imagine how I'm feeling. It's a really bittersweet feeling because I'm so ready to meet her. And I just want to hold her and kiss her and love on her. But I also know she may not come home. So I'm sure you guys can imagine, you know, how I'm feeling. My emotions are so all over the place right now that is a little update on everly and myself how i'm feeling and everything as always if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed to the Moran family and make sure you hit that bell so you guys always get notified every single time i upload and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys but I